Alrighty, what's up guys? Universal Mastery. Um, so, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something very that's very common. People want to know about this, but the thing is, most people that talk about this don't really know the truth about it. They don't really know how they can use it in their life or how it maybe affects their life in the real ways that it that it does. People like to talk about like, oh, you know, this is this and this is that and this is that and they don't really get down to the to the meat and potatoes or the the juice of it and really see how it affects you. And then there's people that have literally no idea what this is and I'm definitely going to pro provide some light on that subject. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is astrology. So the first thing that I want to say about astrology, okay? Um, I want to talk about is astrology real? Do certain planets being aligned in certain constellations and being in certain retrogrades and you know being in certain positions around the world, do they really affect us? That's the first thing that I want to address. Does it actually affect you? The answer to that question is yes. It really does. And I want to I want to stress the fact that planets literally have so much influence on us, on our society. Whether you're in the matrix and you're stuck and you operate like a robot or a zombie or whether you're outside of it whether you're in control of your reality and you realize that you don't have to be confined to the mundane things of life. Either way, in or out the matrix, red or blue pill, you're still being affected by the planets because you are either pulling energy from the planets and you're using those certain energies to your benefit for your free will to your true core purpose or those planets are influencing you with their energy and you're basically operating ignorant mindlessness mindless to the fact that they are even controlling your entire life so i mean i, I know you guys have heard the saying like if the stars align you know things are going to go perfect or you know like just things in that nature like it there's there's just so much truth to you know the planets being so powerful like and this goes this is just one of those subjects that just blows my mind because there's so many stars there's so many planets that we don't know about and the ones that we do know about are so powerful they have so much influence on everything that we do so by understanding how the planets works, you know, understanding zodiac signs, understanding certain constellations, understanding certain attributes to certain planets um, can really get you in a good place. It can really give you a solid understanding of how things operate and even give you an ability to predict certain future events. But also what I want to say is that not knowing about astrology in a sense of like knowing that it affects you that's that's the pretty much the only bit of awareness that you really need to have is just just know that the planets are powerful know that they all have their own attributes and know that those attributes are a part of you okay so the planets are outside of us but if i can pull energy from the planets does that mean that I have part of that planetary essence already in myself and I'm just realigning with that and I'm just reconnecting with that? So we have these certain these certain abilities within ourselves to unlock, if you will, to consciously become aware of and realize 
and then open up right these abilities that we can open up within ourselves that literally open up a different energetic current and when you open that energetic current you are now opening yourself to a certain planetary alignment and with every single planet at least I'll speak for our solar system there is a specific one or two or more once again this topic is so like I mean we as humans and just in the, the level of understandings we have there's so much knowledge out there that we're probably not hitting on the nail but just in in the sakes of giving you guys an idea um, there's two or like three different deities different spiritual energies that are attributed to each of these planets so let's say for example we have Venus right and let's say that Venus is attributed to Lucifer okay and then let's say we have the moon and the moon is attributed to Lilith you get my gist okay and then you have all these different you know occultists and you have all these different astrologers and all these different people that talk about like oh no this planet is really attributed to this and this and this and this and this and you get thrown in so many directions and then people will tell you this planet is really this and this planet's really that and as soon as you get stuck in the planetary politics and that whole idea of like this is the real truth like it's really this way and people start arguing and they start standing behind it like and they just start wasting all their energy and all their time trying to like prove that they're right they're missing a simple fact that truth will always reveal itself truth will always make itself known truth is always going to prove itself you don't have to defend truth so why waste your time getting involved in all these and this goes for anything in this nature you may have something you're thinking about that resonates with you about what I'm speaking on why waste your time trying to prove something that really you don't even have the full understanding of anyways it's just that there's like this this part of your ego that wants to hold on to it and be like oh my gosh like this is everything I believe in I did I've done so much research so far on this topic that I need to hold on to it and I need to like make it known but what if I told you what if that thing that you're holding on to what if it is true but what if it's just like the smallest little sliver of the bigger picture and what if the bigger picture is just a small little sliver to an even bigger picture? And what if that cycle went on and on and on and on and on? That would blow your mind. And then it would make you feel really like shitty, to be honest, if, if you were holding on to that like knowledge that was so powerful that you thought was so important, so big, and then you realize there's like literally a bigger picture, and then there's a bigger picture, and there's a big that's the answer. That's the truth. There's so many bigger pictures, there's so many things that we can we can go on with. Like there, like it just goes on. You you figure something out and then there's something after that. You figure something out, there's something after that. It just goes on and on and on. And that's the art of this craft. That's the art of this knowledge is spirituality you know all this you know you know all these hidden secrets <sighs> because a lot of these secrets that are hidden a lot of this um occult knowledge it's hidden because we just haven't understood it fully yet and when we un understand something there's always something after that it seems um but the point that i'm trying to make to bring it full circle to bring it right back is that the things that are important to speak about to, to to talk about are the things that are that are actually going to stick with you and the things that you can actually take use absorb into your person and use it for your own success so the way i look at it is if i can take all this knowledge and all this wisdom that i have about all these subjects and i can almost create this tool this tool for you to use 
and I, you know, I speak it through the camera, that tool is like being created through my voice based on the things that I'm saying, and maybe even the energy behind the way I'm saying it is affecting you and changing your mindset. If I can do that, if I can have this tool that I give to you, and you can use that and have it benefit you in your life in the goals that you want to achieve on a universal scale, your goal is going to be different than that person's goal. That person's goal is going to be different than your goal, and your goal is going to be different than my goal. And then maybe every now and then we'll have the same goal. Cool. But if I can create that tool where it benefits you no matter what goal you have, and I can share that and you can use that, that's the goal, right? So when I talk about these planets, when I talk about this, I'm not saying that this is the truth and then this one's attributed to this and this one's this. And if you're a Zodiac, if you're, if you're a Leo, then you are like this and you don't like these people. It's not about that. It has nothing to do with that. Like it's about what is the truth of what's going on. Do these planets have an have an energetic um, influence on us as humans? Absolutely. Does does it have an influence on every being that is on Earth? Absolutely. Like that goes for animals. That goes for insects. That goes for everything that is on Earth. Does it have an influence on Earth? Yes. But remember, do we have these planets in us at the same time? Like, is there that energetic essence from these other outside planets that's literally in our bodies, in our spirits? Yes, that's true. That's why we align with them. That's why they can influence us so much. So the more that you become aware that you have these attributes in yourself and you study them, because there are truths about these planets. There are certain beings that are attributed to these planets. And if you go directly to these beings, they can teach you hidden knowledge. They can teach you about these planets and open you up even further so that you can, you know, further your alchemical progressions and you can further your psychic abilities or you can manifest the things that you want in life. That's real. This can really happen. Um, but you want to make sure that you're coming from the place of you're not getting trapped in the politics. You just want to know the truths. Okay, like you move in one direction, you may see that they're all involved in all this like argument and this is right and this is wrong. Go into it, listen to what they're saying, absorb the truths, throw away the bullshit, move on to the next one, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. Right here, I'm giving you the key to success on a fast pace scale. Like if you want to really hit success at a fast rate and spiritually level up and gain some real knowledge quick, do what I'm telling you. Don't get involved, don't get sucked into these, these religions. Like they may not even know their religions, but they are, because they're, they're, they're just creating this bullshit. So yeah, when it comes to the planet, they do absolutely affect us and they have huge influence on us. And I do highly recommend doing research, you know, on occult knowledge. Definitely check out my channel, but Check out the, the playlist that I have. I created certain people on my YouTube channel, like in my playlist, and they are very powerful people and they, they really study these plants and the attributes that they have and all those types of things. I definitely think you should check that out. So go on my playlist, look at their videos, go through my entire channel. You know, it's gonna change your life. It's, it's gonna help you evolve consciously. But I highly recommend that you look it up on your own. Like do do your own research too. Like go on Google, see what your spirit guides guide you to, and check out like what the different attributes of the plants are, and then go directly to those sources to see what they can show you. So for example, like if Lilith is attributed to the moon, I'm gonna go to Lilith because I wanna learn more about like the moon, let's say. I wanna learn more about what that what that entails of. Okay, what does that energetic essence of the moon entail of? What is this lunar aspect? Show me what that means and then they will show you, they will teach you what it means. Like by feeling, by seeing, by understanding, by speaking, like in many different ways. And that is a form of alchemy. So that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. Planets do have an effect on us. They are something to definitely be studied. Be careful, you can get lost in it. But at the same time, as long as you know how to ground yourself, this is an amazing avenue to take. Other than that, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the notification bell because I'm posting videos every single day. And feel free to engage with me down in the comments below. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram right about here. 
and send me a direct message if you have any questions. Other than that, love you guys. Peace.